In the 1960s, American Airlines approached Lockheed and McDonnell Douglas to create an aircraft smaller than the 747, but the plane needed to have the same range. Lockheed had not produced a civilian aircraft since the 1950s with the Lockheed L-188 Electra. The plane was not very successful. Vibration problems in the early years of its career caused a series of fatal plane crashes, causing airlines to buy the new jet airliners like the Boeing 707 and the DC-8. Despite these events, a series of problems involving their military programs made Lockheed eager to get back into the civilian market. Their response to American was the L-1011 TriStar. Lockheed and McDonnell Douglas were in fierce competition in trying to get their trijets on the market. One of the big differences between the planes was the design of the tail engine. McDonnell Douglas simply put the tail engine above the fuselage to make construction simple and less expensive, while Lockheed used an engine design called an S-duct, in which the engine's exhaust pipe goes through the back of the fuselage, instead of the DC-10, in which the exhaust gases exit the engine the same way as the engines on the wings. Boeing 727 and the Russian Tupolev Tu-154 also used an S-duct design, since maintenance on the engine would be much easier, as the engine was closer to the ground. So airlines using the plane wouldn't need a high crane in order to reach the engine, which they did need if they used the DC-10. The wide-body designs of both aircraft were similar, however. Both planes had two aisles and a maximum capacity of about 400 passengers. Both airplanes had low noise emissions for the time, which is where Eastern Airlines' nickname of the L-1011, the Whisper Liner, came from. The first L-1011 was delivered to Eastern Airlines on April 26, 1972. The same year, the L-1011 was taken on a world tour by famous Lockheed test pilot Tony Levier. Together with Charles Hall, 115 crew members, employees, and reporters, they embarked on a four-hour cross-country flight. The flight showed off the capabilities of the L-1011's brand new autopilot. Lockheed also wanted to secure the Japanese market, and secretly bribed several members of the Japanese government to subsidize the L-1011 purchases of Japanese carrier All Nippon Airways. The bribes became a significant scandal when they were uncovered, and would later become known as the Lockheed Bribery Scandal. The scandal would lead to the arrest of Japanese Prime Minister Kakuei Tanaka and several other officials. At Lockheed, Board Chairman Daniel Houghton and Vice Chairman Charles Cochin resigned their posts on February 13, 1976. Back in Japan, Tanaka was found guilty of violating foreign exchange control laws, but was not charged with bribery, which was a much more serious criminal offense. The fallout of the scandal would cause Lockheed to lose a contract worth more than $1 billion. Compared to the DC-10, the L-1011 had a much better safety record. During their competition to get the plane on the market, a series of design flaws in the DC-10 caused a series of crashes in the 1970s. Even though the flaws were fixed, it caused the plane to get a bad reputation amongst passengers. The L-1011, on the other hand, had a pretty good safety record. Most crashes involving the plane were caused by pilot error, and only one crash was caused by a problem with the plane itself. The first version of the aircraft was the L-1011-1, designed for medium-range flights. This was the most produced version of the L-1011. The second was the L-1011-100, which had a new center-wing fuel tank and increased range. The L-1011-200, the third version, was pretty much the same as the 100 but had new engines for improved performance. The last version was the L-1011-500, which had a shorter fuselage but had much longer range, carried more fuel, and had more powerful engines than its predecessors. Today, most Western airlines have removed the L-1011 from their fleets, as operating tri- and quadjet aircraft has become expensive, which is the reason why most long-range aircraft only have two engines nowadays. Bark Aviation in Jordan is the last airline to use the L-1011 in commercial service. Most L-1011s are stored in museums, 
some pilots consider the Elton 11 to be the best trijet ever made. Though it is no longer present as a commercial plane in the Western world, it will be remembered. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.